Hey guys, once again, there's Kiva and Ace Kill. Ace Kill. So apparently, Ace Kill has some more shit on his mind. So a couple days ago, um, I found out about Hotline Miami, and being a fan of sort of the ultra violent, like a uh, grindhouse, hobo with a shotgun style of movies and video games and entertainment. Um, I bought it and played it and got A plus on every mission and then went online to go look up um, Hotline Miami 2. And the issue of rape came up because there was this big controversy around Hotline Miami 2 because uh, apparently at the end of the demo, the main character, like a pig butcher, uh, rapes or, or pretends to rape one of the characters, but it was with no context. And uh, now we realize that it was just a part of a movie shoot and that the girl didn't really get raped. But the comments and responses that people were leaving um, underneath are kind of upsetting because no one really wants to have a conversation about it. Um, the thing that I see is most people are like, well, you're OK with murder in a video game. So why are you OK with rape? And I kind of think that's an easy sort of cop out. Like, okay, so we all know that murder is bad, right? Well, I mean, most of us know this. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is something we sort of understand. And th this is probably going to end up sounding like a direct regurgitation of uh, Jim Butcher's video um, from in the Inquisition series. I think that's what it's called, right? I may be wrong. Maybe I'm saying it's wrong. Jim in Inquisition is his name, right? I'm not sure who you're talking about at this point. Um, I think he's a guy over on um, The Escapist, but uh, whatever, anyway. Ah, oh, okay. okay. So, um, so he made wait, a video. are you talking about Zero Punctuation Order? Um, I don't know. I know Yahtzee, Ben Croshaw. Anyways, I don't know. continue. I don't know. Um, continue. But anyway, that, that's the point. So he made a video about uh, rape in video games, and... Uh, I totally agree with him. So some of the main points were, you know, we all realize that murder is bad. And we all realize, even from an early age on, that, you know, um, it, when people die, they sort of go away. And that we should hurt other people. That we should sort of suppress our anger and our rage. And when people come out and act on those feelings, we all sort of scold them. We all realize that it's a bad thing. You know, people go to jail for violent acts all the time. Um, and we're all right now. and we're all sort of familiar with the feelings of aggression and rage. We all get that. So when we watch entertainment that's about it, we get that it's not something we should do. Or for that matter, if you want to take it to anything that could be considered a, a, a sort of offense, even emotional issues in dramas like cheating, you know, adultery, uh, lying to your friends and stuff like that, we get that it's. Yeah, but Not, isn't it isn't it like that double thing where just be, because it's taboo, that's why it's so appealing in movies and television and games? I think it's – well, there's that, and I think it's because it's a sort of outlet. We get to vicariously live through these characters expressing – you know, And not commit any real crime. Right, right, right. We get to watch it. And we think to ourselves, you know, that feels good. You know, you, you watch somebody, like, get their head blown open with a shotgun. Like, you realize you would never do that. If the real thing happened, you'd probably be just as shocked and disgusted as any other person. Because you the know, real speaking so of, um, I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt. Uh, speaking of uh, Hotline to my Miami 2, it's actually coming to PlayStation 4 and PS Vita. Yeah, yeah, I read about that. I'm pretty excited. Okay. okay. So, yeah, you know. Um, Got you a boner. That's good. So. so when we watch violent acts on in entertainment, it's completely different from what our reaction will be in real life. And I think all of us are pretty much aware of that. Yeah. Um, so it, it's not like in if we look at the argument that playing video games makes you a murderer, we, we, we get that's obviously not true. There's been lots of, you know, theories and stuff like that against it. But as far as why it's different. Um, like I said before, we all realize it's bad. We all realize it's something we shouldn't do. But most importantly, we all realize that eventually we're going to die, regardless of what you believe after the fact. 
we all get that one dot. One day it's, it's going to be all over. We're, we're going to go. And so when we watch a violent scene, it's sort of like a reaffirmation. We sort of get it. One day it's going to happen to us all, whether someone murders us or whether we actually die ourselves. But rape isn't something that happens to everyone. It's sort of the experience that follows you. When you get assaulted and beaten up, yeah, that might, that might shake you. That might follow you. But the feelings of rage and aggression are something that all of us are familiar with. We just know well enough not to do it. Rape is not something we're all going to have to go through, male or female. You know, it's, it, it's not something we have to experience. And we sort of associate it with that, that lingering pain. It's something you think about almost all the time after it happens. It makes you afraid of certain intimate reactions with other people. Okay. And like I said, it's not just a quick, you know, it's over. It always has a victim and it's always one-sided. In uh, this it literally sounds like a regurgitation of this video, but when you get into a fight, or rather when you're watching a fight in some sort of entertainment, there's usually two people that are of equal strength, or at least who are fighting each other with some sort of ob objective in mind. Yeah. Um, you can't do that with rape. Well, like, speaking of rape, I remember um, in Far Cry 3, there was, there was some scene where you get raped and then... Uh, murdered it was one of the endings you get raped and then right after that you get murdered mm. it was by a chick she was pretty hot but i digress um i don't i don't think there was much controversy to it though so i realized that to a lot of people that might sound like a double standard but i think the reason that is is um Again, I think as I probably said about this before, we need to separate this from an objective conversation. You know, it isn't as simple as, well, it happened, so we should all be as enraged about it. Male gamers, for the most part, probably don't take issue to it because a lot of their views on sexuality is, hey, they're getting sex or whatever, and it's just a video game. You know what I mean? So yeah. they, probably don't, they probably don't care too much about that. But then That's for someone that that probably happened to, that shit is traumatic. Yeah, they, they see an issue with that. It was like, and hey, so that, this that shit's creates, not cool. Yeah, yeah, that creates a sort of pushback. But to sort of preemptively combat that state of mind, like, well, this happened to this character, so why don't you care about that? People are going to pick fights with things that affect them or the things that they have the most care about. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not just going to randomly come out of nowhere and be like, hey, let's raise money for all the little kids in, like, fucking some random third world country. If I'm not thinking of them, and if that situation in no way touches on some emotional feeling that I have, or some issue that I feel as if I need to tackle. If yeah. I'm not connected to that issue, I'm not going to care about it. But there are a lot of women who are connected to that issue, even if it haven't, hasn't happened to them. Maybe it happened to someone they love. Or maybe they're simply concerned enough about it to sort of be like, hey, I don't like this. Let's do something about it. So that's why it happens. You know, Not everybody's going to be concerned about an issue the same way. And if male gamers, yeah, that's the thing that particularly makes me mad about it. They often say, well, it happened to this character. Why don't you care about it? Well, why aren't you as mad about it? Do you get what I mean? Like, you can't yeah. sort of flip the coin and be like, be diversionary about it. Like, fucking, why is the firefighter in New York putting out fires there when there's one happening in Chicago? You know what I mean? If you care about it, then why don't you do something about it, too? You can't just flip the coin to make someone shut up. So, yeah. Yeah, so it depends. Uh... So it depends on who it affects. It depends on how much they care about the issue, and um, they apparently cared about that issue a lot. Now, as far as whether the gamer should have been, uh, whether the company designing the game should have been bold enough to just leave it as is, that's an, another conversation completely. As much as I feel passionately about that issue, as far as other gamers sort of attacking our female gamers or people who care about that issue, I think they should have left it in the game. Because it's obvious by the context of the extended demo that it was recorded as um, to make that character seem like a terrible guy. It was in t it wasn't even an actual rape. It was a part of a movie scene. You know what I mean? Like, it, so it wasn't actually. It, it, it was just implied. Yeah, yeah. It was implied within a movie within the game. Within the game. Right. And so I think they should have left. I, I think they should have left it in. I think that would have been an interesting conversation to have as far as what we are able to just play. And maybe it isn't so much that rape happens in the game. I mean, maybe there's something we can say 
to the other side to make them look at each issue or each instance of rape in video games subjectively as opposed to being like it should never be displayed within video games because maybe it could be meaningful maybe there maybe it could happen to a character and we could sort of learn something from the experience yeah yeah i I totally get what you're saying um it's it's really all about like open-mindedness just being open to everyone's opinions and not sticking to just that one thing uh like you talked about a few conversations back but um this is what time is it we have a we got a bit more time well actually we're gonna stop the video here so make sure to rate comment favorite and subscribe have a good one see you